Hello and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. This tutorial is on how to make your own craft bucket server with Hamachi and how to install plugins. You start off by downloading Hamachi. There will be a link to all the things that I mention in the description below. You need to download this so you can create your server IP. So just go through the steps and download it. Create your server name. So I'll just let this run through and show you how to do it. And as you can see, you just turn it on, create a name, and then create a server. So this is my network name. So this is how your friends would join you. Then you go to craft bucket and download this. This is how you actually create the server. And then create a Minecraft folder where you're going to keep all your server stuff and save it there. Then find this folder, go there, and then right click and create a text file. And then in this text file you need to pa paste some information. This will be in the description below. It's to do with your Java to start the server. And then you copy the exact name of the craft bucket and paste it where it says rename me. The code will be in the description below. And then you save it. You can save it as whatever you like as long as it ends in .bat. And this is very important because this is how you start up your server. If you don't have this, there's no console to start your server at all. And then you can just delete the text file after that. And as you see, when I double click on it, you'll see a load of files pop up where it creates the server. So it's just created a server. And there you go. So that's the server made, it's as simple as that. So next I'll show you how to install a plugin. So you just double click the plugins folder. Then I'll install Essentials. This is probably the best one to install first as it gives you all the commands and lets you do everything. So I'll just save that and save it into the plugins folder. And then go into that folder and then right click and extract it. You don't have to do this with most of the plugins, it's just essentials a big one, so just delete the zip file afterwards and then you can go back. And then if you go back to the console and you type in reload, you can see where it updates the plugin. So now the server's now got essentials on it. And then if you double click the config, you can see it's absolutely terrible in Notepad. You can't read it at all. So right click and open in Notepad plus plus. There'll be a link to this in the description as well. And as you can see, it's all nicely laid out. So you can just change a few things to set up your server. I always add the signs because these are really useful. But there's tons of things in this config. I mean, you'll spend a lot of time trying to configure your server from here. But this is the plugin I'd advise downloading first. And then save and go back to the console and refresh it just to make any updates. It's normally best to turn this off first because changing configs doesn't normally work if the server's running. And then I'll quickly load up Minecraft and show you the server. So you log in and then you go down to your Hamachi and then you right click there and then you copy the top one and this is your server IP. So connect. You could give that to your friends and they could join your server when you're online as well. So as you can see, I can run about. But at the moment, I can't do any of the commands. I mean, I'll try and change my game mode. So, slash gm0. You do not have access to that command. So you go to the console. And then you just type in op and then your name. So now I've just been opt. So if I try it again you'll see that I'll go into creative mode so now I can fly about and do whatever I wish you can also make it so you're up under permissions files if you download one of the plugins for that and then I'll just stop the server so you just go to the console and type in stop and it closes that off Now you can see the server information. So you can edit this. You can type in the level seed that you want. 
you can type in a different name if you wanted to create another map or world should I say so I save that and then if I load the console up again just go back to the original file double click start up and now you see that it will create a fresh set of world files called test because it's created a new world you can see these files there so if I log into the server you see that it's a whole just a whole different world and I can fly up again completely different to the old one so I mean if you downloaded a world from online you could stick it on or if you knew a good level seed you could just stick it in there but what you do is go to server and then where it's got the name where it's got test here you just name it whatever the world you download is and then in the con uh, in the files here whereas test is and world you just delete all them and you paste the file that you download for the world and then it'd load up that world every time you log into your server so you could download a world that's already been built by someone else and then I'll just type in stop to show you that it is actually my server as you can see it just disconnected when I type stop into the console thanks for watching I hope this video has helped if it has please remember to rate subscribe and comment